good morning friends welcome to les academy videos as i mentioned in our previous video we introduced aptitude helpline to help the aspirants to solve their doubts or clarify their doubts in aptitude where we will be presenting video solutions for the doubts that they share to us yesterday we got a request from a student where he shared a doubt that he got when he was practicing simple interest concept in aptitude first of all let us see the question that actually he posted to us and the best way of answering that question within less than 30 seconds of time let us see the question here says the simple interest on a principle is 9 by 4 times of the principle if the rate of interest per annum and the time period in years are both equal what is the rate of interest i will just give you a very basic concept behind simple interest before starting to answer this question whenever i take r percent per annum as a penalty or rate of interest that i have to pay or accept to pay in simple interest and let us say if i take the loan for t years of time in simple interest it means that i have to pay r percentage r percentage r percentage for t number of years so if every year if i pay r percentage then for t years i simply pay t r so my total percentage of penalty paid will be r into t percentage for all the total years so using this point in consideration now let us see how to understand the question in the easiest manner the question is indirectly giving you two hints here the first hint in the question is actually giving us is the simple interest or the extra amount that you are actually paying is 9 by 4 times of the principal principal means the actual loan you have taken so any time simple interest or compound interest questions demand us to understand everything in terms of percentage so whatever 9 by 4 times of the principal is a simple interest given let us understand it in percentages and fraction to be converted into percentage always must be multiplied with 100 So 9 by 4 converted into percentage by multiplying into 100 will give you 225 percent. So the question is giving you the first hint saying the total interest that actually is accumulated, the extra amount that is accumulated is 225 percent of the loan that you have taken. And the second most important hint is saying is the rate of interest which we have taken as R here and the time period which we have taken as P here both are equal. So when both are equal, I can say I have taken R percentage of interest rate at R years of time. When every year R percentage is taken for R years of time, the total percentage accumulated should be R into R percentage. R into R percentage can be written as R square percentage. So the examiner is indirectly testing whether you are identifying the concept of simple interest where number of years and rate of interest is multiplied as a percentage. And whether you are identifying nine by four as two forty five, so he is simply asking you whether you know which number square is two twenty five or not. So I say this is not a question of rate of interest or percentage or anything. This is a question of identifying the square of a number which is two twenty five. And I know that two twenty five is fifteen square. So if R square is two twenty five, I simply say R should be fifteen. So your answer here is fifteen percent per annum. That means you have taken a loan at 15 percent per annum for 15 years of time, so that your total percentage of interest becomes 15 fifteens, which is equal to 225 percent. So whenever I read this question, whenever I see 9 by 4, I form 225 in my mind. Whenever I see R into equal, I form R into R R square. So R square is 225, R equal to 15. Put the answer. Go to the next question. This is how simple interest and compound interest questions can be answered within less than 10 or 20 seconds of time. If you properly interpret the question that is given, instead of wasting your time to search for different formulae or shortcuts or whatever you mean to say, as I said, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is LACG Plays, and you can be posting your doubts that you get, so that you can be getting back the video solutions in the best format with a slight explanation of the concept behind it also. So do subscribe, like, and share our channel, Lays on YouTube. Thank you, and all the best for your career plans.